Hello, today we're going to be going over how to make heat maps using Matplotlib and Seaborn. We're also going to be utilizing the pandas library. So the first thing we have to do is go over um, what we have to import. So usuals, um, pylab inline, you can also do Matplotlib inline, which is probably a better practice. Um, we're importing Matplotlib, pandas, and numpy. So the first thing you have to do is import your CSV file or whatever kind of file you have into a pandas data frame. Um, this data file is on my GitHub and I will have a link to it. So essentially right now we're just showing the first five rows of the data frame just to see what the data looks like. Um, I went over this in an earlier tutorial on how to use heat, um, matplotlib in accordance with heat maps. Um, this is this next line is just showing the shape of the data frame, what columns it has, and essentially how to select columns in pandas. Um, the reason why I'm going through these sort of steps is a lot of times when you want to put into Seaborn or matplotlib, your data has to be a certain format. And it can be a little tricky to get into the format you want. So I chose energy, uh, helix two phase, and helix one phase for my columns because that's what I want to do. Um, I also um, did this in a different way. Um, using helix.ix or dataframe.ix and this just means every row and this just means the columns I'm interested in and I want to print out the, the first five rows in our data frame. So the next thing we're going to do is basically make a heat map using matplotlib. So I'm going to edit this right now. Matplotlib. So essentially what I'm doing now is in this data, um, there's multiple uh, copies of, or multiple occurrences of helix one phase and helix two phase. For example, there's many data points with um, zero, zero uh, for the phases, and I'm basically just gonna find the mean of them, because um, I wanna find the average energy uh, for given phase combinations, and I'll use a group by. It's very SQL-like. The next phase, the next cell, I am resetting the index because uh, I essentially got what I wanted. I used the aggregate function mean over the group by, and essentially there's unique combinations of helix one phase and helix two phase. So I'm making essentially a new index by resetting the index. So in particular, now I'm showing you how to do a heat map using matplotlib. This code is a bit complex for what you get. Um, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that Seaborn looks way better. And we'll get to that in a second. So what this code is doing essentially is because I'm not using Seaborn, it's not as intelligent as my Putlib. You have to specify every single thing you want. So essentially, the first part of the code is I'm specifying figure size, like how big I want the figure to be. Um, I'm making it a subplot, and then I do ax a subplot dot scatter, and this is one column in my data frame. This is another. This is my y-axis, x-axis, and c is how I want to display the color and the color in this case is energy. So if the energy is gonna be, let's say, um, more negative, it's gonna be darker. If it's more positive, it's gonna be lighter. And this is where I'm inputting the pandas data frame. CMAP is just saying um, where, what colors I want. In my case, I chose blues, this underscore R is for my particular color map, and I want it to reverse the way it was made, or the way it displays. I chose square markers, <laughs> I also chose the size. It's a bit complicated, and I had to set the x and y limits, I made it a grid, and it still doesn't look quite as nice as Seaborn. So we'll go over that in a second. So a heat map using Seaborn is very, very simple. So the first thing to do is to get the data in the format of Seaborn. So for me, I use a pivot. 
And if you're familiar with Excel, this is right up your alley. So um, this string over here is basically our row labels uh, going downward. And this over here is basically our column labels just going across here. So you see helix two phase. And energy is essentially our values. And if you're not familiar with pivot tables, that's fine. This is Python. And if you want to see documentation for this, I just left it right over here. And I'm displaying the first five entries. There's other ways to do this, of course. Um, Python is very flexible. These are our row and column labels, respectively. And this is our values that were basically, um, the color is going to vary based on our energy, essentially. So now that we have our data frame in the appropriate format, we can put it into Seaborn. So it's very simple. This is just the same thing we did earlier. Um, it's just I'm sending it to a, value, a variable now so I can use it. And plt.figure, this is just the figure size I want. Um, you can play around with that if you want. So plt.xlabel, uh, this is helix two phase. Uh, helix one phase is right over here. Um, you can play with this if you want. And then um, make sure you've imported Seaborn as SNS. And I believe I did that a little bit earlier, right over here. And I'll go through this very quickly. This is the pivot table that we worked hard to make. Um, annotation equals true. That's basically, I want these sort of values to output. Um, the, the format, FMT, um, this is just saying uh, I want it to one decimal um, and my energy is in float. So that's what you see here. Um, line widths, I'll let you play with that. Square is something I really like because even if I didn't make my figure um, square in shape, uh, I think this is the length, this is the width, it'll make every... Um, essentially mini square a square or uh, color a square which is very nice uh, C map I made it blue and that's it for our tutorial on how to make heat maps using matplotlib and Seaborn um, please subscribe to the channel if you have any questions any problems please let me know I leave the code um, on my github if you have any questions or you want to download the code, just please go to GitHub. Um, questions, just please leave a comment. Have a great day.